What's going on guys? Welcome back to Eco. I know you guys have been asking for this for quite some time now. It's been about a, about a week since the end of the last series, but the new one is beginning. So just a quick rundown of what's going to be happening this season of the Partially Row Eco Experiment. We have two cities. We have two different groups of 10 people who are going to be fighting over the same land, the same resources, and racing to shoot down the meteor first. And the twist is, the other city is ran by my brother. My in-real-life brother. So it's going to lead to some shenanigans, and some crazy stuff is going to ensue. We're going to steal each other's land. Things are going to get crazy. And uh, on top of that, there is going to be what are called freelancers, which are you guys. You guys are freelancers, and you can prove yourself worthy and get real strong into your profession to get hired into one of the two cities as long as there is room for you because the max limit is going to be 10. Or you guys as freelancers could work together and shoot down the meteor before us, ultimately winning the experiment. So it's going to be a massive race to see who can do what first and how things are going to work out and it should be a ton of fun. There is one stipulation though. You guys are going to have a two day waiting period. This is just so that the two groups of 10, I think they're both six people in each group right now, have time to claim enough land so that way they can actually work together properly. So we're heading over to uh, what I believe is going to be the spot for me because it's a big giant island surrounded by a river right on the coast, which is beautiful, across from the desert, so we can still get desert items. Of course, that just looks awesome. Imagine having a city built on this. Uh, my group consists of a whole bunch of people that shot down the meteor last time, as well as a few new faces. Uh, I'm super excited to have the winner of the last building contest actually be the one uh, to be the builder for our group as well. And that's digital. So I'm looking forward to that. And we're going to be running the giveaway again. So if you guys are joining the server and you are a freelance, freelancers are going to be the only ones available to win the giveaway. $20 Steam gift card for the most beautiful voted upon house on the server for this wipe. The meteor has about 30 days until it hits. So we have a lot of work to do and it's time to get started. Of course, if it feels like I didn't cover everything or if you have any questions, I would join the Discord down below. That's how you access the server. That's how you read the rules and that's how you make sure everything goes nice and smooth. Oh yeah, also the map is four times larger. We have quadrupled the size of the planet. So you're actually gonna get even bigger wonders like this beautiful waterfall right here and a lot more room to actually build and you know, be able to access a lot more land so that way more people can play. That being said, wait till Wednesday, watch this series, and I would also highly recommend going and watching my brother's channel down below, as he will be like live streaming it and playing it and posting videos on his end to the other city. So if you're curious as to how they're doing, that's what I would do. And my buddy on his team, Chris Delish, will also be streaming it over on Twitch if you prefer live content. That being said, my whole group is currently racing over. So Lasting Survival, Kalina, Mr. Ghost, Robinier, and myself, are all heading over to what I believe is going to be a really cool island to build our city on. And believe it or not, in the back of their minds, they actually have uh, the idea of building a legitimately, like, full-blown looking city, like you would see on the screenshots on the Steam page of this game. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they could accomplish. And just running around on this quadruple world, I already feel like things are much bigger and major, like the mountains are higher and like things are all built out this is gonna be so cool playing on such a big map the roads are actually gonna like truly matter you wouldn't be able to just run to your friend's house i believe it took about 10 minutes to circumnavigate the globe before so if my calculations are correct correct if my calculations are correct then it will take about 40 minutes to run around this world yes, sir. who's Sorry, royal cut him off, Mr. Ken. that not oh. me oh, there oh hey royal does this look buildable 476 those snowy and mountains, but this one's surrounded by a river. But we need iron. Oh, it was because, um, desert. Is there no iron here? Oh, the the we could build fucking people. helms deep on this shit, though. This is so cool. The it world is thing. so much different when it's four times larger, like the generation of everything. <laughs> the mountains are bigger, the valleys are huge. So you're saying across, so across the water, past the desert, yeah. that mountain? What about, you know, where the, the river kind of is snaking just north of you guys? 
that green plot wouldn't be horrible. Because we're right there. We got the dark wood. We got the regular grass. We have the snow bomb to our left. And we have desert right there. That's literally oh, goes. And I believe Code and Christian are also right behind you on their way. So just try to start claiming as soon as you get there. I think all right, we're well, all kind of racing for the same good spot. Long as long for this tower, long. I hope that some freelancers take it over and build something <coughs> fucking incredible. Probably better right, off so leaving it up to them to build pretty stuff anyway, because they're not going to be racing as much as us. Yeah, yeah they have right. Dax, and Dax plays a lot of this Thank game, you. so he's more familiar with uh, where to put everything down, so that's why I'm assuming. Dragon Mech as well, he fucking played like 16 hours a day last time. Yeah, like where the where the river snakes, see how it kind of creates a peninsula? Yeah. A good spot. And I know Demo was talking about just being the city of sabotage and just polluting and deleting the planet before anybody can shoot down the meteor, so... We'll see how this goes. They took it over? Yeah, deed, four plots. They literally just took it over. Right there and then. Uh-oh. Where is there more desert? There's a shit ton desert north. I'm dead center of the desert, but I don't want to be too close to them. I want to at least be like an ocean away, you know? That's what I was thinking. Go north in that desert over there. And then... Where the grass meets the desert right there, we could build there. I like the peninsula Robo's on, but we don't have the desert there. Unfortunately. Good. Yeah, they, they straight up just yoinked where we were going. That's hilarious. The Actually, desert peninsula? Yeah. Um, Desert's yeah. so ugly, though. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Little, wait, 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 wait. Little pond. You see the, the star pond? Yeah, star that's what I'm talking about. You Let's go there. That's going to be sick. And we're and close to the desert. Right yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going there. That looks awesome. That's screaming my name. Can you actually create like a, like a company, like a group, so we're all together yeah. and it's all just, okay, good. I thought we'd just have to like claim and then authorize everything be years here. But I know there's like they, the recent update added renting and stuff too. So you guys should create like lodges and get it set up where you can like give wood for a house or something. So we can like capitalize on the freelancers as much as possible. But four times bigger is going to make it real nice. Even like people that stop playing, it's really not going to like take over most of the map. Yeah. And uh, government is 100% disabled now on the server. So... Ooh, it's all just going to be like hearsay, talk between city type stuff. The freelancers are pretty much welcome to do whatever. Okay, this spot is sick. Yeah. I don't. It's not very flat for a city, but I'd like to like build part of the environment, you know. Build into it, you know. Make yeah. It work. Yeah. Instead of just terraforming everything, make it look horrible. Yeah. Get people to do that. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> And whoever built the statue of me, that was pretty cool, pretty cool, except they never finished it. Unfortunate. So I should just start, just start claiming. Yeah, I think it takes 40 minutes to circumnavigate the globe on foot. I'm just going to claim the land for now and then avoid the water for a while. So long as it works. If somebody wants to build a small hut in the middle of the lake for some fucking reason, go for it. That'll be our fishing trading post, you know? And we'll just wall them in. I'll just live in the cube. Do 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 do. They're probably seeing like the claims go up so quickly, and they're like, "What the hell? We must not overfish or pollute our pond." If they do pollute the entire planet, we'll still have our nice fresh pond. Then all the extras we get, we should we were supposed to, we should claim a big desert, you know. No, um... Big chunk of desert. Or should we wait until we know that there's iron in that spot? Alright, I'm gonna get a little work done. Let's build a little hut. Let's let's set up a little house. Let's do a little do a little action. Choppy down some trees. Get a workbench going and get some work done, yeah. Alright, while well, my boys are hard at work, I'm gonna go and uh antagonize the competitors. I wanna go see how they're doing and I wanna go say hello to everybody. So that way uh, you can uh, see what they're up to. Also, I forgot to mention Codename Ace is also joining the other group. So if you guys want to check out any of the other group, I will be leaving their links down below in the remainder of the series. So if that's something you're looking for, go check them out. Hmm. Looks like they're coming along well. I wonder how long it takes for one of them to notice me. Five years later, they have no idea that I am one of them. Dax didn't even notice. Nobody's noticed. Nobody noticed that I'm here. 
Just gonna <clears throat> don't mind me. Oh, redwood seeds worth. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> saw me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just spying on code. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Listen here, you. What? You shoot. What? There's a spider. Look, run. I'm not afraid of spiders. Oh, man. Yeah. Nice try. Nice try. You're not building next to the group. You're over here all by yourself. Why is that? Oh, well, you know, sometimes. They smell bad? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. A little, a little stinky. Bit. Isn't it nice over here, though? Yeah. Do you want to stand on your log pile so I can get a screenshot? Uh, okay. Like looking out over your shoulder, you know, like all, all majestic. Uh, put the shovel in your hand. It is massive on your back. There we go. Now turn around, turn around, turn around. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Getting your good side, getting your good side. Perfect. Thank you. Goodbye. Good luck chasing me. I'm a parkour master. So guys, we had a little bit of issues with the server. This is the day after. We had a bug where when you would level up a specialization, you would get a whole specialization point in return, which is not how the game is played. Because if that is the case, then uh, food and housing is completely and utterly irrelevant. I'm currently just flying right now. We regenerated the same world, but some things did change. I don't know how or why, but here's the little star island here. Um, this is where Demo and his group were going to build over here somewhere. This is like where I wanted to build. I think they're right... Where are their build? I think right here somewhere. There he is. He was right here. So this is where they were going to build. So we got a similar generation, but this island is new. This was not here before when we regenerated. And uh, this is what we're going to take over. We're going to build the whole city on this island right here. Claim it all. And then we're going to end up building bridges to each of the continents, which is going to be really awesome. And we're still close to the desert where we can get all of our underground needs in order to engineer things. So again, if you want to join on Thursday, check out the Discord link down below. Um, we're going to get started on rebuilding. Unfortunately, we lost about four hours of gameplay off of this bug, which really stinks. But at the end of the day, I do love this game, so I don't mind playing it a whole bunch more. And if you guys have any really cool ideas for any additions to the experiment, let me know with a comment down below. Maybe we can do some things with laws to make some funny things happen or anything like that. Or uh, also let me know how long do you think this world is going to last? Because I was just talking to Demo and he seems pretty adamant on just deleting and destroying the planet as his group. So you guys might have to uh, try to stop him. And we're also going to have to have some meetings with him and try to convince him and coerce him into not deleting the planet before we can shoot down the meteor because otherwise we're gonna have a whole bunch of issues that being said this island will look very different in the next episode there will be a playlist link in the description down below to watch the entire first experiment and to continue on this experiment so if that interests you go ahead and check out that playlist like the video and we will be seeing you guys tomorrow at the same time peace out